If you take the bus in Nanaimo, you can now swipe for a ride. The system has been in place in Victoria for a while. Now it's available in Nanaimo, the Cowichan Valley, the Comox Valley, Port Alberni, and Campbell River. New electronic fare bo boxes have been installed to improve planning, enhance security, and to reduce disputes. A News Mid Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett joins us now live with the story. Jonathan? Andrew, if you take the bus regularly in Nanaimo, since January 1st, you've been swiping to ride. It's a new high-tech fare system that's coming to your community. Bus driver Bill Friend says the new system makes his job easier. It makes things simpler and clears up any misunderstandings that come along once in a while. People come in, just swipe their card, and everybody has to do it, so nobody's coming by and trying to go around behind. So everybody has to be accountable, and it works really well. Nanaimo is one of several communities across B.C. that has switched to the new electronic fare box. Passengers now swipe their bus pass instead of just showing it to the driver. They have been installed in the last couple of months, but uh, we're just starting to actually implement the program uh, where we actually have people swiping their pass rather than showing their pass when they board the system. Oh, I found it. Passengers can still pay with coins or bills if they wish, but the new swiping system allows for better tracking. The machines record data from each fare, such as type of pass used, boarding time, and bus route data that can be used to help with changes or improvements for the system. We're going to be able to get really good information for planning purposes, so we'll be able to actually track how many, many people were on the bus at that time um, during that route, um, specifically paying with a monthly pass or a semester pass, and we'll be able to tailor the system accordingly. BC Transit says the electronic fare boxes could also cut down on some free rides, generating more income for the service. And that could mean expanded transit service, better routes and facilities in the future. Any tools are available for us to help us and uh, move us away from fare evasion, it's definitely something we want to look at. All the revenue comes back into our system, so we do, do, we do have to have all the revenue going into our system. Um, it naturally makes it better and makes us so we can have more expansions in the future. So this might bring down the, uh, the amount of free rides people are getting? Certainly it, it'll uh, account for that, and uh, the machine, uh, Fairbox, does uh, all the valid daily uh, for each, each person going through. BIU, right now. The Long Range Capital Project budgeted at $6.48 million will eventually outfit 700 BC Transit buses with the new technology. Expect to swipe to ride in your community later this year. Bus passes with the special encoding are on sale now. ProPass customers will receive their new encoded passes later in the year. BC Transit has already been using the electronic fare boxes in the Whistler Transit System and Victoria Regional Transit System. Andrew? All right. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank you.